Howdy everyone, Mojave D here, I'm doing well, I hope you're doing well. Well, I'm nervous, man, because I don't want to mess this up. We are um, completing Ring-a-Ding-Ding, or starting Ring-a-Ding-Ding in the last episode. Finally, after it was probably much too long of a time, I figured out how to get to the strip. And now, we need to talk to Mr. House first. Um, oh, let me get my big head out of here so you can see what I'm looking at. We need to get to Mr. House first and uh, search the strip. Should I make this active? Because I said, uh, search the strip. Confront Benny. Talk to Mr. House. Um, I, w I thought I was told to talk to him first. So if I make that active, what does that do to the map? Multiple spots. Interesting. So, uh, because, so now I don't know, so... Now I'm confused. It seemed like we had directions to talk to Mr. House first. Or maybe that's just was the, the one that get put that quest up. So, but the other thing I want to do is send Boone home. I'm thinking because he got me into all kinds of trouble. I don't know that he'll get me into trouble here. Hey, Mr. Gambler Man. Uh-huh. Ready to try your... I really have more important things to do. Sorry. Yeah, so do I. But I've never seen anybody called Mr. Gambler Man. Um... Well, we know he's at the tops. And that's right there. But I'm gonna get rid of him. Before I do... Fine by me. <laughs> I want to change gear with him because he has 15 DT now it's halfway broken but it's better than when I I'm sorry Boone we'll, we'll get you set up here in just a second it's better than what I'm wearing which only gives me one So let's um, <laughs> let's get that. Let's get fine him. by me. Let's put mine on him, my old armor. And let us send him away because he got me in so dang much trouble um, with the cons. What is it that we are neutral with? Well, I could just have him wait here, huh? And if he wouldn't cause any trouble, I don't actually have to break. Um, I don't actually have to tell him. Okay, I'll wait here. I'll sit tight. Okay. Eddie, on the other hand, hasn't caused me any trouble. So I was thinking... And I had to go, am I equipped with that armor? Yes. So now, all of a sudden, got him set on be peaceful. Um, I'm not sure what to do first. Um, we can go look for it. Ding dong. Or, sorry, I thought I had this all figured out. I thought I was, I had it figured out to where we had to talk to Mr. House first because I thought that's what they said. Talk to Mr. House and then do this. I thought that's what somebody inside there told me. So, 
Because I asked somebody in there if they knew where Benny was. They said, talk to Mr. House. Well, Mr. House runs the strip. So he would be the best one to let me know where. Okay. Benny is. But we we're also told that Benny is staying at the tops. So we already know where he is, unless he isn't there. Let's go in and talk to Mr. House, I think. Now, I do have this saved here, so if I screw... This is why I'm nervous. I'm nervous about doing things in the wrong sequence, you know, not knowing, you know, never having played before, and then, and then altering the path that my game goes, like when I screwed up. Uh, accidentally over there with the Brotherhood of Steel and have made a permanent enemy of them apparently so um, that's why I'm nervous but I do have this saved so this would be a case where if I get things wrong if I screw up the path of the game um, I'll come back to the save and do it again and this is one time when I will do that because this is, uh, I think, pivotal, pivotal, a pivotal moment here to find the man who shot us. All right, ma'am. I'm going to take a break, do a sound check, and rethink this. Because I might want to just go over to the tops and get Benny and then come over here. Well, if we do that, it, because we'll be getting the chip from Benny. And Benny might not be at the tops because the guy said, when I asked him where Benny was, he says, Talk to Mr. House. All right. Let me um, do a sound check and rethink this. Well, if we do Benny first, then we come to Mr. House and um, he wants the chip, right? All right. I don't know, man. <laughs> I'm just thinking out loud and wasting time. And I'm nervous. I'm nervous for because I'm, I'm so worried that I'll do something that uh, permanently uh, makes the game less fun for me. All right, take a quick break. I'll be right back. All right, here's what I decided. I decided to talk to Mr. House first. The house always wins. Roman numeral one. So it's a three-parter. But if I'm going to I talk to him, I don't want to have the chip on me is my reasoning. Um... Oh, great. <laughs> I thought that was the way in. Uh, that's my reason. Because he's going to demand it, and I'm not sure I want to give it to him. I can't get in. So that might, I, it may already be decided for me. Um, you know what I mean? Like, if I have it with me, is this, like, can this get me around to him? Uh, if I have it on me, and he demands it, and I haven't decided who I want to give it to yet, you know what I mean? No violence is permitted on the strip. Gotcha. Uh, where does this go? Gate to New Vegas Strip. Whoa! Gamora! The Lucky 38! Oh ho! Well, let's, let's stay on, let's stay focused. So my thinking is, I want to get his story. We have the NCR story. We have Caesar's Legion story, somewhat. At least we know how they operate. Uh, and the yeah, third faction in contesting this is Mr. House. 
So let's find his story out before I get the chip on me. Is my thinking. Victor, what are you doing here? Well, howdy, partner. Good to see you again. Boss is waiting for you upstairs, so get a move on. Thank you, Victor. Enjoy your visit. Well... So, the strip is separated. I thought Mr. House controlled all of it. But he is separated himself into this section. Oops. I better stay on target. Door to Lucky 38. Wow, this is cleaned up. Um, map. Local map. Ah, uh, straight ahead. Uh, probably upstairs, huh? Well, there's an elevator. Can you play the slots? Be advised, the Lucky 38 is not open to the general public. Trespassers will be shot. Thank you. Uh, who, who is it open to? Do I want to take the elevator to him or stairs? It's clean. Check in. So Mr. House has a robot army. Well, let's see where the elevator goes. Companion Dismissal Terminal. Elevator to Lucky 38, Suite 22. I have to dismiss my... Dismiss all companions. Let's see if we can take the stairs. So I guess that answers my question about Boone. Hey, <coughs> excuse me. So it's so nice in here and he doesn't allow people. Okay, we're going to have to dismiss Eddie. Why does he have it kept so nice and not allow human beings in here? Okay. A message will be delivered to all current companions, wherever they happen to be, that they are to return home. Okay. You've lost Boone Spotter Perk. And Boone has returned to Novak. You've lost Eddie's enhanced sensors bird. And he has returned to Fred. But I still can't get in. Where to, partner? I I'm going to go upstairs. Penthouse. Penthouse floor. Uh, Victor? What floor, partner? Uh, I'll stay here. That's Mr. House. At least a picture of him, an image of him. with these guys. Huh. Who 
They'll let me take this stuff? <laughs> I was expecting a, uh, a brouhaha over that. If I can sell those. Interesting that they let me take it. Well, I guess. Is this going to be like a like a Wizard of Oz thing? All these books are in great shape and I can take them. Getting a Wizard of Oz vibe here. Is, is he behind the curtain? Talk to Mr. House. Holy cow. Okay. This meeting has been a long time coming, hasn't it? You've come a long ways, literally and, I suspect, figuratively as well. I have to ask, now that you've reached your destination, what do you make of what you see? Uh, give me a second to look these over. <laughs> I don't know why I'm nervous, man. This is your grandpa playing a game that you know how to play and he's never played before. I'm, I'm your grandpa and this is making me nervous. Uh, I've decided to say, who, who? what the hell are you? A crude question, crudely asked. Yeah. I'll be happy to satisfy your rambunctious curiosity at a more appropriate moment. Uh-oh. But now, I'll repeat my question. What do you make of what you've seen? City to vote. Okay. I prefer the wasteland, to be honest. You aren't going to ramble on about the virtues of life out in the wastes, are you? It's a desert, you do realize. I love it. A radioactive desert where humans subsist in a barbaric state. Difficult to glorify convincingly. They are, however, aptly named. <laughs> For that's what you'd be out there, wasted. Here on the Strip, your talents can be put to use. I survived quite well in the desert, sir. What are you talking about? I'm just a courier. Shall we get down to business? The business is this. One of my employees has stolen an item of extraordinary value from me. And I want it recovered. Simple enough. I'd like to ask some questions. What did you wish to know? Who exactly are you, Mr. House? I am Robert Edwin House, President, CEO, and sole proprietor of the new Vegas Strip. I oversaw the city's renovations starting from 2274 onward. The three families are my employees. Before the Great War of 2077, I was the founder, president, and CEO of Robco Industries a vast computer and robotics corporation. Okay, but we're in the year 22, we're like, uh, 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 so you're not a man. You appear to be, uh, that, that's what I was just gonna say right there. Yeah, you appear to be a computer, not a man. Don't let the video screens and computer terminals fool you. I'm flesh and blood, not silicon. How? How? It, well, there it is right there. How have you stayed alive all this time? Let's just say it was very costly. But I was willing to make the sacrifices longevity entailed, financial and otherwise. C 
costly as in your whole body <laughs> you've sacrificed your body to somehow put your I don't know put your brain into this computer or something you exist as a computer you're not flesh and blood dude how did you establish New Vegas we can discuss this in greater detail at another time Suffice it to say that when my Securitrons detected NCR scouts at Hoover Dam, I took action. I recruited a tribal force to supplement my Securitrons and renovated the Strip just in time to welcome the NCR as it marched into the region. Instead of war, a treaty was negotiated and the money started to pour in. Let's talk about something else. What else did you want to know? What terms are you offering? My only concern is the recovery of the Platinum Chip. What happens to Benny, I leave to your discretion. When you bring the chip to me, I will pay you four times the delivery bonus stipulated in your contract. How's that? These are my only choices? Thanks. My offer far exceeds the original terms of your contract, which, I will remind you, already obligates you to deliver the chip. How hard do I want to be about this? Still not interested? All right, I'll do it. Well enough. Return to me when you have the platinum chip in your possession. Any final matters for us to discuss? Yeah, I have some questions to ask. What else did you want to know? How do I get to Benny? It won't be easy. Benny is always surrounded by at least four bodyguards, except when he's in his private suite on the 13th floor of the Tops. The chairman are your employees. <laughs> Don't they take orders? It's more complicated than that. The chairmen share what you might call a tribal affinity. Look for a man named Swank, Benny's second in command. He's always been a reliable, if unimaginative, employee. Huh. Do your best to convince him that you're working under my auspices. If you have evidence of Benny's crimes, show it to him. Why can't you be the one that tells me? Say I want to take a diplomatic. Well, why can't you be the one to tell Swank? By contract, Securitrons are to enter the casinos only when invited by the three families or if other extraordinary circumstances arise. The moment I send one into the tops, Benny will know I'm on to him. Aha! Say I want to take a diplomatic approach. If you were to approach Benny in public, you might be able to leverage his fear of exposure to make him agree to meet with you in private. Any ideas on how I could catch him off guard? Sneaking into Benny's suite on the 13th floor would be very difficult, but not impossible. There might be guards. Certainly, there'd be a sturdy lock on his front door. Let's talk about something else. What else did you want to know? What is the Platinum Chip? It's a very special item. There's nothing else like it in the entire world. It was lost a long time and difficult to find. That's all you need to know about it for this stage of our enterprise. Fulfill your contract, deliver the chip, and good things will come your way. know about the chip the easier I I can find it you might keep an eye out for any computers that Benny's been using 
Maybe even a computer lab of some sort. What just happened? I got some music. If the chip's so valuable, why use a single courier to transport it? You realize you were just one of many couriers. The rest of them dummies, so to speak. Add to that many thousands of caps worth of mercenary protection to screen your avenue of approach. Had I used an armed caravan to transport the chip, I might as well have been announcing to the world, this is important, attack this. I didn't want to attract the attention of groups like the Great Khans or the Brotherhood of Steel. Alas, the real threat was closer to home. Well, we already know why he won't send the robots. It'll make a war. Oh, why don't you send your robots into the tops and arrest Benny? Frontal assaults on casinos. Not good for business. Yeah, yeah, we already knew the answer. In any case, Benny would see it coming. And all he'd have to do is hold the chip up and point a pistol at it. Our foremost advantage is that Benny doesn't know that I know he has the chip. Ah. Let's not squander it. Ah. I have a right to know more. That's simply not true. Yes, it is. I am the only person to hold any rights pertaining to the chip. I designed it and I paid for it dearly. To develop that chip, I spent a sum of U.S. dollars. Not the bottle caps that pass as currency these days, but a sum beyond counting. For decades, I paid salvagers to comb the ruins for it. And when it was finally discovered, tens of thousands of caps spent to have it brought here. We know how that turned out. Complete your contract, and it will be the last time I pay for the chip. Save your questions for then. Talk about something else. What else did you want to know? Tell me about Benny. Benny has led the chairman ever since I recruited his tribe seven years ago. Until his recent misbehavior, I planned to make him my protege. Maybe if I'd begun grooming him sooner, none of this would have happened. Uh, why did Benny betray you? I have to think that he found out about the platinum chip and mistakenly convinced himself that he could use it to his own ends. One of the problems of a tribal workforce, I'm afraid. No intuitive understanding of how complex technologies can be. What use would you have for a protege? To achieve my aims, I require a capable human agent to perform certain... Tasks. Because you're not human. I knew Benny was ambitious, even ruthless, but I believed he would do the job so long as he was incentivized appropriately. Obviously, I miscalculated his drive for supremacy, but in any case, you've come along. A more than suitable replacement. You want to make me your protege? Why didn't you intervene sooner when Benny ambushed me? Why didn't Victor intervene sooner, you mean? Good Springs is a bit too far away for me to reliably control a Securitron agent by remote. Mm. I can send and receive packets of data at best. Mm. Victor's combat algorithms determine the proper course of action. Benny and his thugs were more than a match for a lone Securitron. Mm. When he alerted me, I instructed him to approach the site after Benny and the others had departed. Talk about something else. What else did you want to know? Tell me about... Well, before we do that... Hold on. <laughs> hold on. Hold on. Hold on. So this Joker... Doesn't have... The ability or the capability... to control anything except the city. He's unable to have his Securitrons out in the wasteland. Is he human? Do you, do you really think this is a human? 
I mean, he would have to be like hundreds of years old. So he did, like he did some kind of genetic uh, modification to himself, put himself into some kind of stasis uh, where he was asleep for a couple of hundred years and then came awake. But why does he need humans to do um, human functions for him? Did he somehow put his essence, his mind into a machine? He's not human, he's a machine. So um, in my mind, he's out for uh, siding with. I don't trust him one single bit because we're dealing with programmable robots and he doesn't have the ability like Caesar's Legion does and the NCR does to patrol and protect the entire region, more than just the city. They can help all the settlers and settlements out um, in the wasteland. This joker can't. So he's out. I don't want to give him the chip. I don't want to give the chip to Caesar. That leaves me with the NCR, and that's not a good choice either uh, for uh, a simply simple reason for a bunch of reasons but a couple of them are uh, their their leadership at the top is is terrible uh, unintelligent <laughs> they don't um, and they're spread too thin they're trying to expand too fast I mean I can go there, there's other reasons but they are the best bad choice so basically the game has presented the player you and me now with three bad choices and we are to pick one of them ah uh, man uh, this guy's out I, I can't see uh, a robot controlled c robots controlling humans or robots being over humans um, it should be the other way around Ro humans control the robots and in his case, eventually they would. Somebody would figure out how to reprogram his stuff. I don't know if he's immortal. I mean, he just keeps, he has put himself into a machine, but that machine can be hacked eventually by somebody, maybe not his machine, the machine he's in, but the other ones can. And I don't, I mean, I, the first time I ever saw anything like this was, uh, what was the name of the movie? Um, uh, 2001, A Space Odyssey. I can't remember when that movie came out. I think it was in the 70s I saw it in the theaters. Uh, uh, Stanley Kubrick. Uh, 2001, A Space Odyssey with the computer HAL. Uh, <laughs> some very iconic uh, and classic lines came out of that movie. But that was the theme there was the, the mind, the, the, the mind, which this guy is, is, is similar to, uh, took over and, and actually decided that it was in his best interest to kill some humans. So this guy's out. That leaves me with NCR and Caesar, which means I got to go with NCR. Uh, and I'm going to take a break. So smoke them if you got them. I'll be right back at you. Outside. So I was outside uh, thinking and, uh, about it. So he gave up his humanity. And so he has disdain for humans. Well, not disdain, but he's indifferent to them. Um, he only sees them as commodities, much like Caesar's uh, legion, <clears throat> you know, slaves and all that. And um, So yeah, the NCR is the way to go at this point. Get my big head out of here. And uh, I mean, that's where I'm seeing it right now. You guys in the comments can ch chime in, man. You know more about the game than I do. Uh, let's go. Uh, tell me about the factions vying for New Vegas. It's understandable that you'd be curious about this topic, but we'll hold off until uh, the platinum chip has been recovered. Uh -huh. What else did you want to know? Yeah, he's cold. Who 
exactly are you, Mr. House? I've asked that. Oh. I am Robert Edwin House, president, CEO, and sole proprietor of the new Vegas Strip. I oversaw the city's renovations starting from 2274 onward. The three families are my employees. So Before the Great War of 2077, years. I was the founder, president, and CEO of Robco Industries, a vast computer and robotics corporation. Talk about something else. What else did you want to know? I think that's everything. Goodbye. Well enough. Be on your way. Yeah, he's not human. He gave up his humanity. Uh, how do I get out of here? Um, where's the elevator? Where's Victor? There he is. Victor. Congratulations, partner. The boss has instructed me to comp you to the high roller suite. You can bring your friends too. Be like a little clubhouse for the gang you put together. Just bear in mind, you're the only one gets to see the boss. Any friends you got, they can wait in the suite. Enjoy the digs, partner. They're plenty fancy. Oh, really? Oh, what did he, did he give me the presidential suite? Let's take a look at it. High roller suite. Uh, which one? This is my room now? This is my room. Really? Huh, what do you know? Well, there's stuff I can sell. Oh, wait. Um. Today's physician. have some grimy business wear but I'll take it and um, upgrade mine and since there's no violence allowed on the strip I'll put it on because it gives me plus five to speech takes my speech to 70. I can close the door. This is my place? Very nice. It's not dirty. There aren't blood stains on the sheets. What are these other rooms? Oh, all for me? It's even clean. And there's no radiation. Wow. I'm carrying a bunch of stuff. What does this do? An office? <laughs> all right. Well, well, we'll come on back. We'll... And another bed. Holy moly. A kitchen. 
oh, I could use some of this stuff to help that um, fella that needs to fix the stove. All right, we will um, thoroughly. <laughs> Pool table. Can I not? Why can't I pick up the um, the money, the chips? Jake juice. What does that do? I'll have to turn the sound on and um, check out these radios and stuff. Future weapons today. Well, whoever was in here before me got a little messy here. Not really. They were watching TV, eating popcorn, and <laughs> all right. Oh, I, I want to see what these these things are that I picked up. Um, <clears throat> Jake's. Future weapons today is a temporary plus 10 to energy weapons. Jake juice, charisma, but you lose some intelligence, you gain some strength. Okay. Is that it? Programmer's Digest, plus 10, temporary. Salesman Weekly. I'm just lightening my load a little bit, is all I'm doing here, by eating stuff. So this is home now. Where to, partner? The casino. Casino floor. But now I have no followers. And something tells me... Whoa! Hey, you there. I have a message for you. Who are you? It's from Ambassador Crocker. Very important. Here you go. What? Ambassador? Who, who, who the heck is Ambassador uh, uh, Crocker? I wish to speak with you immediately in regards to important matters. I trust you have learned enough in your travels to know that the New California Republic is an honorable nation engaged in a benefit mission in the Mojave in general and New Vegas in particular. It is in addition a it is in addition a wealthy nation that well rewards persons who don't dedicate themselves to its national interest, whether for reasons political or patri uh, patriotic or material. Allow me to reassure you that if you have committed any crimes or misdemeanors against the Republic, it is in my power to pardon misconduct of this sort. I haven't. They, I'm good with them. I stand ready to receive you at your earliest convenience in my offices at the New California Republic Embassy at the south side of the Vegas Strip. God bless the New California Republic. Dennis Crocker. Wow. 
What do you know about that? So, no followers. Ah, uh, you know what? So, I've got that on to get my speech up. I have paciencia. Uh, okay, we're in um, close quarters, so I don't want that as my main gun. Um... I think the submachine gun would do that. And let's get uh, the hunting revolver. And let's get lucky. Oh, you know what? Let's get the shotgun. Gamora. Gambler, traveler, traveler. <laughs> we'll talk later, sweetheart. Uh, Mr. Holdout. Hey there, friend. A bit of advice. You look like you could use some protection. Lucky for you, I got what you need. My stock and trade? All kinds of easy-to-hide weapons for slipping into and out of casinos. They won't give you a second glance. Easy-to-hide weapons? Things guards can't spot when they're patting you down or checking for iron at your hip. Sneak. My sneak? Hmm, I think I could slip bigger weapons past the guards. My sneak isn't high enough. Why would I need to hide a weapon on me? Simple. You can't bring guns into the casino, that's why. Oh. They'll strip you to your fists. Sure, they say you get it all back when you leave. Me? I don't like being without a little insurance when it's my caps on the table. Well, let's see what you have. Take a look at these beauties. Uh, okay. Knuckles, razor, switchblade, knife. Knuckles are damaged though. All your stuff is damaged, dude. Straight razor has double critical. Okay, he's got ammo, but he doesn't have a um, a twenty-two. straight razor. I buy it twice so I can upgrade it. Can I sell him stuff? me money. Equip lucky. Um, he'll give me. Well, this. This is actually something I might want to take before a fight. I'm gonna hang on to it.
if I can remember to take it before the fight. Oh, I've got Ripper. Oh, I can't, I can't conceal Ripper. But he'd give me 400 bucks for this. I haven't used it yet, and I'm dying to because it ignores uh, DT and DR. There's my silence pistol. You owe me 33 bucks. So I have a holdout weapon. Don't be carrying any guns into the scene. I won't. Um, where am I? I'm in Gamora. Um, where was the gate? This is the gate. But we have lost. My followers, which which is fine, I, I understand. Uh, and we've got where is it? Tops. The Tops Casino. Is this this isn't the top the Tops Casino is right there. Oh gosh. Tops Hotel Casino. Is this the Tops? <clears throat> I thought this was the entry to uh, like a vault or something. Tops. All right, ma'am. <laughs> I need to take a break and sack up. So we got some tips. We need to talk to a fellow named Swank. Right? That's Benny's second in command. But he's loyal to Mr. House. And we need to get him alone in his room is the best way to go about it. All right, man, smoke them if you got them. I'm gonna take a break and psych up. All right, so I think it did an auto save, didn't it? But I'm gonna save here. Uh, New Vegas Strip. Um, Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna overwrite this just in case, and um, here we go. So we need to find. Hey, hey, fellow! Welcome to the Tops Hotel and Casino. I'm gonna have to ask you to hand over any weapons you might be carrying. Keep hold out. Why do you need my guns? Five words from my cold, dead hands. Uh, <laughs> uh, why do you need my guns? Security, baby. Can't make the bread if the bakers are full of lead. You dig it? Don't worry. You're safe as houses in here. Courtesy of Mr. House. I see. I will keep that. Sure, here you go. Smooth and easy, just the way I like it. Don't worry. They'll be as safe as kittens till you're ready to leave. Oh, and a friendly word of advice. If you happen to stumble across any weapons during your stay here, well, just don't wear them openly. You dig? I now dig. that we got that little business out of the way, what can I do to make your tops experience the tops? <laughs> uh, what is there to do here? Everything your little heart desires, that's what. You like gambling? Boom. Boom. Either one of the main hallways has cards, slots, you name it. Hungry? Thirsty? The restaurant just off the left-hand hallway has the best food and booze in Vegas. Or maybe you'd rather take in a show. The Aces Theater upstairs always has hot acts raring to go. Cool. Check it out. Uh, where'd you take my weapons? Relax, baby. The safe is houses. We'll keep them locked up in the bank upstairs right next to the money. It's serious protection. Okay. Uh, well, goodbye. Have a good time, baby. Yeah. We need Swank. Talk to Chairman. Uh, Swank is the guy I need to talk to. Where is Swank? Swank! Oh, Chairman, there that's what they're called. So all the guys with armed guards are the Chairman. Hey, Swank! Hey there, pal. Welcome to the Tops. And what can I do for you today? Now, who are you? 
Ain't been on the strip long, have you, pal? Name's Swank. This is my joint. I thought Benny ran this place. Benny oversees the business, sure, but I run the tops day to day. I'm his right-hand guy, you dig? Yeah, I dig. Nice place you got here. Tell me about it. The tops? Yeah, sure. You want the nickel tour? Old Swank's happy to oblige. We got everything you could want. Slot machines in the back, cards and roulette in the front, fine entertainment upstairs in the Aces Theater. And all with your security personally guaranteed by the chairman and Mr. House's own Securitron police. It's the tops. Ooh, I think you should know something about Benny. I think you should know something about Benny. Really? You got something to say about the big boss, huh? Yeah. Well, why don't you say it to his face instead of yapping at me? Good enough. Speech. Oh, only you need 15. I don't think you're gonna like it. Seems Benny's been making his own play. I've got evidence that Benny tried to kill me and stole a platinum chip from me. Well, either one of these are good. I do. I have evidence, don't I? I don't know if I have evidence. Let's try it. I've got evidence that Benny tried to kill me and stole a platinum chip from me. Whoa, hey now, kid. That's some kind of serious charge you're dropping. You want to be real careful what you say next. Okay. I do. Look at this. I do have evidence. Look. I found these cigarette butts by the grave he buried me in. Huh. Well, yeah, okay, these are Benny's brand, and they ain't too common. You got anything else? I sure do. I found his lighter in Boulder City. He dropped it when he killed his partners. Yeah, that looks like Benny's lighter, all right. <clears throat> Still, not exactly a ton of proof. Got anything else, kid? Are you serious? A note I found in Novak. Oh, was this this was from um, Manny or, or, or when he was with the cons? Here, take a look at this note. I found a Novak. That's pretty shady. Yeah, could be Benny's up to no good. Could be this is somebody else altogether. What else you got? Are you kidding me? That's it. What do you think? Jesus, kid, I think we got a real problem on our hands. Uh huh. Can't believe Benny's a no good stinking punk well, trying to play house like that. Tell you what, I'll call Benny, keep him away from his suite. You go search the place. Here's the key, it's on the 13th floor. It's a room with the double doors, can't miss it. Maybe you'll find something we can show to Mr. House and get him arrested. We don't have time for that. We need to take him out right now. I need my weapons back if we're going to do that. Uh, that doesn't get Benny alone. Uh... Okay, I'll go check out his room. Okay, I'll do it. Groovy, here's your stuff back. In case you run into company, you dig? Oh! I'll tell the boys to give you a pass to pack some heat. Go on, then. Elevators to pass the slot machines on your left. Well, that was easy. I'm glad you see things my way. Pass the elevators on the left. This place is go. Ah... Uh, Past the elevators on the left. Upstairs or downstairs? You know what this looks like? The layout is real similar to the old MGM. The original MGM, which is now uh, Bally's. Similar, kind of similar layout. Past the elevators on my left. This is cool, man. Inaccessible. Take elevator to 13th floor. I just want to check them all. Door to the courtyard. We want to check out the courtyard. So there's only one elevator that works. Where was it? This one. Here we go. But he won't be here. Um, where's his room? Locked. Locked. I have keys. He gave me keys. Locked. Chairman. Locked. That 
would be bad. Mm -hmm. Requires key. Uh, uh, he gave me a key. They're all locked. He gave me a key. Gave me a key. I thought he gave me a key. Okay, that's not what I want. He gave me a key. Um, do I have to go upstairs again? Lock, use key. Is this Benny's place? Gosh, uh, what am I doing up here exactly? Hold on. Search Benny's suite. Forty bucks. We can loot it after we kill him. <laughs> I've got a nicer room. Oh, you know what we need to do? Um. Well, it's too late now. I, I need to upgrade the, the straight razor. But it looks like I have all my guns. Yeah, I got everything back, but nothing's equipped. Uh, for close quarters, this thing hits the hardest. Let's have a... Sh oh, I can't. I can only equip one thing. Interesting. Uh, we're gonna get in a fight, we want this on. see anything. Aha. Nope. Um. This looks like a door. We got a robot down there. Yes, man. Hey! Hi there! Good to meet you. What can I do for you today? Super friendly. What are you doing here? Good question! My function is to monitor Mr. House's data network and decode his encrypted transmission. You're a spy. Allow me to introduce myself. I'm a PDQ-88B Securitron, but you can call me Yes Man. Okay, Yes Man. What kind of name is that? It's what Benny always called me. Probably because I'm programmed to be so helpful. Have you seen Benny? He was around here not too long ago. 
He's probably down on the casino floor now. You can wait for him here if you like. I'm incapable of asking you to leave. Amazing. Well, what is this place? This is Benny's workshop. When the tops got renovated, he had this half of the floor blocked off for his own use. Interesting. I guess you could say it's my entire world. I don't think I've ever left this room. But that's okay. I'm not complaining. <laughs> Benny reprogrammed a Securitron all by himself, huh? Oh, he had some help. A lady friend of his. She said something about living in a fort over in Freeside. But that's all I remember. Benny stole the platinum chip from me. Do you know what it's for? Sure. Benny had me look at it a bunch of times. It's a data storage device. Kind of like a holotape, but a lot more advanced. As for what's on it, well, some of Mr. House's data transmissions made it sound like the chip could upgrade his defenses somehow. Uh -huh. That's just a guess, though. The chip's a proprietary format. You need special hardware to read the data on it. Of course. There are two locations with non-standard hardware on the network. The Lucky 38 and an underground facility at Fortification Hill. Hi, oh. look there! Fortification Hill. Uh, what's Benny planning to do with the chip? Oh, he wants to kill Mr. House and use the platinum chip to copy my neurocomputational matrix Whoa. onto the Lucky 38's mainframe. That should give me control over all Mr. House's defenses. Whoa. Most prominently, his Securitrons. Well, well. And then I just do what Benny tells me. Easy peasy! You're very forthcoming with that information. I was programmed to be helpful and answer any questions I was asked. Well, well. I guess nobody bothered to restrict who I answer questions for. Oh, oh. That was probably pretty dumb, Pretty huh? dumb, yeah. What if I wanted to take over New Vegas instead of Benny? Then I'd have to help you. Uh -huh. I mean, it seems pretty obvious Benny wouldn't want me to, but hey, not my fault I can't say no. <laughs> well, what are the details of the plan? Again, goal number one is to eliminate Mr. House and install my neurocomputational matrix on the Lucky 38's mainframe. Given how you're a new arrival, I also recommend that you get to know some of the region's tribes, so you can decide how you feel about them. By the time you finished up all of that, the Legion should be close to attacking Hoover Dam, and we'll execute the last phase of the plan. Mr. House was going to wildcard change in management. Um, I said, I said Mr. House was going to suffer an accident. How was that happen? So I should ask these tribes if they support an independent Vegas. You said, wait a minute, does that mean I can take control? You said something about a bunker at the fort. Goodbye. You said something about a bunker at the fort. Right. It's one of two locations on Mr. House's network with non-standard hardware. Whoa, 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 whoa. My guess is it has a reader that can decode the chip. And who knows what else? Maybe a giant robot or something. Uh, the last thing Vegas needs is more robots. Oh, yeah. I'm sure you're right. I mean, for one thing, it's you saying it. <laughs> and you always know what you're talking about. Oh, yeah. And if you had, you know, a huge killer robot at your command, yeah, that would just clutter things up. And a lesser person might want that kind of overwhelming force on their side. But you know, where's the challenge in that? Ah, oh, he's a character, isn't he? So I should ask these tribes if they'll support an independent Vegas. Oh, no, I didn't mean that. Who needs their support? The Securitrons will be all the support you need. What I meant is you should get to know these tribes and decide which ones you like and which you don't. You know, shape the future of Vegas. Choose your neighbors. If you like a tribe, leave it alone. Or if a tribe is nasty, or going to be a problem, go ahead and exterminate it. It's whatever you want to do. Holy cow. Well, now this is a uh, a fourth option. Which tribe should I get to know? Remind me what you said about the bunker. 
Say, Mr. House was going to suffer an accident. How would that happen? It makes me feel really dumb to admit this, but I don't actually know. <laughs> I've never been inside the Lucky 38. No one has. Mr. House is in there, though. It's the central node of his entire network. I've been inside the Lucky 38. You have? Wow, that's amazing. You can murder Mr. House whenever you want. Oh, I mean, Benny was always scheming about how he was going to get into the Lucky 38, but you already took care of that. Wow. The other thing you're going to need is the platinum chip. You know, the one Benny killed a courier for over near Good Springs. What do you know about the courier Benny shot? I knew he was carrying a platinum chip, and I knew right where Benny should wait for him. Aha. Uh -huh. That's why Benny put me here, to monitor Mr. House's data transmissions. They're all encrypted, of course, but I'm quite a decryptor. Did you know that Mr. House spent 812,545 caps hiring salvage teams to find the platinum chip just in the last year alone? Of course you didn't. Or that there were seven couriers, but six of them were carrying junk. How about their exact route and the mercenary teams that screened them? I knew all that. Uh -huh. Pretty smart, huh? You got me shot. I'm the courier Benny shot. <laughs> I know that's not true, because you still have a head. <laughs> I'm serious. <laughs> that's not funny, you getting shot in the head. I really shouldn't have taken so much pride in how I set that up, huh? Uh-huh. I feel really bad right now. I thought you weren't capable of feeling bad. You set me up, now you die. No, we don't want to do that. Uh, where is the platinum chip? Benny carries it with him at all times. I think he's paranoid that someone might want to take it from him. The platinum chip is the key to overriding and exploiting Mr. House's defenses. Did I just say exploiting? That's not a very nice word. He's pretty... He, he's, 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 he's programmed to not... To, to be just nice, but sometimes he's kind of passes or passive aggressive not nice once i get the platinum chip what then i'd take it straight to mr house if i were you he'll think you're helping him out then when he's not looking kerpow kerpow the big question is whether to give him the chip before you do him in he's the one who'll know exactly what to do with it after all he might upgrade his defensive capabilities right away or even unlock new ones well, but then tricky. those defensive upgrades might make it harder for you to finish him off hard to say it's up to you let me know when it's done, and I'll roll over to the Lucky 38. If I'm right about the chip, I should be able to install myself on House's mainframe. Huh. This is going to be great. I'm going to help you accomplish so much, whether I want to or not. Whoa. Uh, which tribe should I get to know? There's a bunch. Some of them you've already met, like the chairman, for instance. I think you should visit the other families on this trip, the Omertas and the White Glove Society, so you know what makes them tick. Yeah, I agree. And there are some important groups farther from the strip too, like the Boomers, the Great Khans, and the Brotherhood of Steel. Yeah. Ah, uh, ah! Uh, remind me what you said about the bunker at the fort. That's right. Like I said, it's probably pretty important because it has non-standard hardware, just like the Lucky 38. Mm. The data on that platinum chip is a big secret, unless you can find a dedicated reader to decode it. Isn't that frustrating? I'll think about it. I have to admire your prudent nature. Why get caught up in action, you know? And results. Ah, he is passive aggressive. Uh, let's talk about tribes I should get to know. Of course, ask away. I want to ask some more questions here. We know about the boomers, the great cons, cons. Uh, the um, the omertas keep coming up, and I, I don't know anything about them. I don't know anything about them. I know about them. I got I got crossways with them. What do you know about the boomers? I'm a boomer, man. I'm 71 years old. They must be a really nasty people. Hey! I haven't heard a single good thing about them. 
They fire artillery on anyone who comes near their settlement Nellis. at Nellis Air Force Base. Talk about rude. If they can be convinced to fire those big cannons at the Legion, or NCR though, well... That'd be neat, wouldn't it? <laughs> uh, let's talk about something else. What should we talk about next? Let's talk about the tribes. Please, go on. I want to know about the Amer... I visited the Con settlement at Red Rock Canyon. They can be ignored. What do you know about the old... The old Meridas? Hmm. I don't know. I remember that Benny used to pay a receptionist at Gamora for information. Maybe she knows something. Do you know anything else about the old Meridas? Just that Benny didn't like them. He talked on and on about how they couldn't be trusted. And this is coming from Benny. He hated their casino, said it was tacky, and he thought they were up to something, because he said they always are. Let's talk about something else. Whatever you say. I want to talk about some of the other ones. Talk about the tribe. Please, go on. Uh, there was another one. Oh, the White Glove Society. What do you know about the White Glove Society? From what I understand, they're perfectly delightful. They're cultured, clean, and super polite. Benny didn't like them, though. He said they were creepy. <laughs> I'll let you know when I'm done evaluating the White Glove Society. Don't hurry on my account. I'm the one with a flexible schedule. Anything else I can help with? Ah, uh, we did lose the great cons. I have visited the Khan settlement at Red Rock Canyon. They can be ignored. If you say so, consider them filed away under not to be discussed again. That's one down, four to go. <laughs> Oops. That's not what I wanted. What do you know about the Brotherhood of Steel? I got sideways by them and uh, with them and uh, it was trouble. They go around in big suits of power armor, and they have lots of energy weapons. Yeah, I find not that out. Downside. They just have a thing about technology. They think it should all be theirs. If someone else has it, they get mad. All I'm saying is, not much of a chance they'll accept a Vegas that polices itself with robots. I'm not ready to decide what I want to do with the Brotherhood. No rush. Take your time. Anything else I can help with? I'll get back to you about the Boomers. Take all the time you need. Anything else I can help with? Let's talk about something else. What should we talk about next? Goodbye. Hope to see you soon. Broken terminal. Broken terminal. Workbench. It's not a functioning workbench. Locksmith Reader. A door. Whoa! We got a hallway. Dead end. Benny had a secret escape route.
escape route. I heard his voice. So I need to get him up here alone. Hold on. Um, data. Disable Mr. House. Yeah, I was going to say, you can't kill him. He, he's not human. Talk to the receptionist. Okay. So these, those are all things I picked up. What I need to do now... Where's the elevator? Is... Benny isolated. How do I do that? I can only imagine the look on his face when he sees me. to his room, I mean, chairman, hey Swank, you're back, find anything, sure did, Benny has reprogrammed a Securitron, he's trying to take over the strip, he's what, ah jeez, jeez, this is really bad, what are you gonna do, I thought maybe I'd talk to the man, see if we can work out a deal, no, there's only one solution. I'm going to take him out. I'm not sure yet, but I had some other questions first. There's only one solution. I'm going to take him out. Take him out? Jesus. Okay, well, if you think that's the best way to deal with this, I'll send him up to his room. Perfect. You can ambush him there. Perfect. And don't worry about the rest of the chairman. I'll keep him from getting involved. You'll still have to watch out for Benny's guards, though. Guards. Uh, okay, I'll do it. Go on then. Elevators are past the slot machines on your right. On my right? I thought they were on my left. All right, pause. Perfect. He's sending Benny to his room, but he has bodyguards. All right, man. Smoke with me if you got him. I'm going to take a quick break. This is going pretty well, I think. I haven't messed anything up, I don't think. Well, well, well. So. Hey, boy, or yes, man. Whatever his name is. Just gave me a different option. To take it all myself. But I was thinking about it outside, and... Uh, that is enticing because I don't like the other three options. I mean, they're all bad, but I'm not sure I'd be good because I basically am replacing Mr. House and would have control of the strip only. Am I wrong? I mean, that's the way it sounded. It didn't sound like... You see, what this world needs, this crazy, mixed-up, awful uh, world, this post-apocalyptic apocalyptic world they put us in, is for the humans to have a better world and be free. So, ah. Uh, 
I'm still NCR, I think, because if I just replace Mr. House, I'm not, I don't have whatever ability he has to live for 200 years. I die. Or somebody reprograms, um, hey boy, what's his name? Uh, I can't remember. Yes, man. Um, and uh, they assassinate me. <laughs> but I can't, I don't, I won't have the ability to um, provide a safe and free world for the humans. And I'm human. Now, if I was a mutant, I might have a different outlook on it. Anyway, plus, now I was thinking, man, we're gonna, this is the end game, but it, but it's not. I mean, we got the boomers, we got the omeritas, we got the, the white glove society. Uh, we got a whole bunch of side missions that came. I mean, this is not even, this has got a lot going on. Um, and I forgot where I'm going. Uh, he said, what did he say? Uh, to my right. That's this way. Hello. Hello. Well, there aren't any slot machines on my right. There's people to talk to here and, and interact with. He said, pass the slot machines on the... Oh, okay. The slot machines... And, oh, back to the elevator up to Benny's room. That's Benny. Benny. What in the goddamn... Let's keep this in the groove, hey? Smooth moves, smooth. Hello. The guy everyone saw go in the Lucky 38, that was you? Oh, shit. Ha, 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 the jig's up, Benny. Me and Yes Man had a talk. Seems you need to work on your marksmanship. Mr. House wants the platinum chip handed over. Give me one good reason not to kill you. The jig's up, Benny. Me and Yes Man had a talk. Baby, this is not the place to go talking about that. What say you and me cash out? Go somewhere as more private-like. Any questions you got, I'll answer. Aha. Want it now? Give me one good reason not to kill you. No deal time. Attack Benny. Give me one good reason not to kill you. You want a reason? How about four? They're called bodyguards, and every one of them is packing. Me too, so baby makes five. Okay. Add to that, every chairman in this joint is armed, and not with some holdout pea shooter like maybe you smuggled through security. Anyhow, baby, you didn't come here for vengeance. You came to get clued in. Like I said, we should be talking somewhere as private. Huh. So I get ambushed. It's one against five. Uh, okay. What did you have in mind? To start, I'll comp you the presidential. Best suite in the house. You deserve a taste of the VIP lifestyle. I'll hang out down here for a while to make everything look business as usual, then come to you. Any questions you got, I'll answer. Guaranteed. conditions lose the bodyguards and we both go to the suite now fine but don't keep me waiting we talk here and now or I tell everyone my story I didn't come here to negotiate I need him alone I don't like any of these. I mean, I can't attack him because I'm grossly outnumbered. And I don't know what weapon I have equipped. I mean, I equipped, I know what I 
but I quit, but I don't know what the game, it, it might change it. We talk here and now, or I tell everyone my story. Lose the bodyguards and we both go to the sweep now. Can I trust him to lose his bodyguards? You can't trust Benny. Fine, but don't keep me waiting. Now he's going to bring his bodyguards. We talk here and now or I tell everyone my story. Do what you got to do, baby, and let the chips fall as they may. You know where to find me. Cool by me if you want to talk after all. But a confab like this, out in public, in my place of business, that don't play. Like I said, we should be talking somewhere as private. Well, if I do the bottom, the two yellow ones, uh, we we go after it right now. We, get, we and his bodyguards are gonna blow me to hell. Um, Okay, what'd you have in mind? To start, I'll comp you the presidential. Best suite in the house. Yeah, yeah, you deserve a taste of the VIP lifestyle. I'll hang out down here for a while to make everything look business as usual, then come to you. Any questions you got, I'll answer. Guaranteed. I don't believe you. Two conditions. Can I get out of this and, and, and increase my barter? By five? I mean, I, I've got a magazine that will increase my barter. If you want me to play nice, it'll cost you. That's what I want to say out of these options. I just don't... I just don't trust him to lose the bodyguard. Two conditions. Lose the bodyguards and we both go to the suite now. If that's what it takes to win your trust, that's what it takes. Follow me. Um. Items. Oh, carbine. Get the hunting shotgun equipped. And something else that hits real hard. Uh, this just shoots too slow. This shoots quick. <sighs> I comped you the prez so we can talk there, hey? No need to keep tugging at my sleeve. Trust him. Don't get too close to Mr. Benny. Well, I'll almost stay right on his shoulder. I comped you the prez so we can talk there, eh? No need to keep tugging at my sleeve. Now that you and me's got some privacy, I gotta ask, how is it that you're still living? Call it luck and leave it at that.
Luck is for losers, baby. Someone pulled strings. Ta ta. What do you think you're doing? And where's his bodyguards? I get his suit. I get his key, I get Maria. I get the chip. And I get the keys to the presidential. What is that? That's fight music. Expecting his bodyguards. So is that it? That was anticlimactic. Plus five barter, plus five speech. Maria. It's a nine mil. Nowhere near as good as the guns I have. man or kill or disable him how little we know bring the platinum chip to house I'm not ready to do that kill cook cook I did cry me a river debt collector Someone to watch over me. Happy to have a honeymoon. Heartache by the number. Restoring hope. Render on the Caesars. Well, I don't. I'm not returning to Yes Man. Well, I'm here. I guess I could. with that? This is crazy. Hey, Swank. You ready to deal with Benny yet? to his room and keep him distracted <laughs> so I could have gone here he could have done all this for me yeah he's dead huh guess that makes me the boss <laughs> ring a ding I'm looking to make a few extra caps got any job you need done you might have a jaw at Tommy Torini up in the aces he's always looking for talent scouts I think we're done. Yeah. See you, kid. Wow. I was so nervous, but what I was nervous about was screwing up and messing up the story for myself. So now I've got the chip. 
Now I gotta decide what to do with it. Interesting. Hey! The eyes of the mighty Kaisar are upon you. He admires your accomplishments and bestows upon you the exceptional gift of his mark. Any mean? crimes you may have perpetrated against the Legion are hereby <laughs> forgiven. Kaisar will not extend this mercy a second time. My lord requires your presence at his camp at Fortification Hill. Oh, his mark will guarantee your safe conduct through our lands. Uh, why does Kaisar Caesar want to see me? Go to him and you will understand. Seek Kaisar by way of Cottonwood Cove, south of Nelson. The Corsor Lucullus will be waiting. Get you back here. Kaisar awaits. So... Uh... Brotherhood of Steel still has me vilified. The Apocalypse accepted. Good Springs idolized. Great Cons neutral. Novak and the Strip. Um... It's not showing me Kaisar, but it did. He forgave me. Oh, yes, ma'am. Don't you just love that platinum chip? Buzzes with power and possibilities, doesn't it? If I were you, I'd almost want to deliver the chip to Mr. House just to learn all its tricks. That is, unless you want to bring the NCR or Caesar's Legion to power, I wouldn't want to tell you what to do. Well, we know what Benny was planning. Well, what was Benny planning to do with the chip? Maybe I get more information? Oh, he wanted to kill Mr. House and use the platinum chip to copy my neural computational matrix onto the Lucky 38's mainframe. That would give me control over all of Mr. House's defenses, most prominently, his Securitrons. And then, I guess, I just do as I'm told. Yeah. Sure! If the chip could be used to reset yeah, yeah, administrator we'll privileges, it'll be super easy. If something happens to Mr. House, I may be in touch. I'll be waiting right here. Crazy, man. I don't know what to do. If I follow this joker, there were more questions. There were more options. The one I picked shut off all communication. Kaisar awaits. Opus, in Kota. Kaisar awaits. Well, I've got some real nice rooms to stay in here. Can I fast travel to here now? kind of anticlimactic. I was expe I don't know what I was expecting. And I got a ton of quests. Travel to Cottonwood Cove. Take the barge up the river to the fort. I think that's what we do next because I haven't met him. We met Mr. House and talked to him. We talked to, uh, well, we haven't met whoever's in charge of the NCR, but we know all about them, or we know a bunch about them. We don't know that much about Caesar. Uh, wow. Uh, 
I was expect. I don't know. I guess I was expecting to uh, lose. <laughs> I was not optimistic at all. But we have a great room at the Lucky Thirty Eight. have a room here but I can't have any uh, followers here the ultra lux I don't know what to do. I really don't. Um, I think what we're going to do next is go to. Hey, Vector. Well, howdy, partner. Good to see you again. Boss is waiting for you upstairs, so get a move on. Thank you, Victor. Come back soon now. I just want to go to my my uh, my deluxe room. I don't want to talk to him because he's gonna want the chip. Maybe I can't stay here. Cause he's gonna want my chip. Oh. Where to, partner? I want the pres I want the presidential suite. My new home. We need 23,800 for the next level up. I'm going to end the video here. I got so much to think about. But it's so nice to be in a clean room with no blood stains and other kinds of stains on the sheets and bedspreads and all of that. So, uh, what a bunch of stuff to think about. I think on the, the next thing I'm going to do, though, is I want to meet uh, Caesar. So, uh, I want to thank you all for watching. And all you new people uh, who may not realize that it, this is your grandpa playing a game he's never played before. How did I do? <laughs> How did I do? Uh, thank you all for watching. Take care of yourselves. We'll see you on the next one. There's a whole bunch of exciting stuff coming, man. Decisions to make. I have four options right now. Take care. See you soon.